Hello and welcome back to MRTV Business. This is the Vario VR2 Pro, a VR headset for industrial use cases. And according to Vario, this is the most professional VR headset in any sense. So how does this headset set itself apart from the other VR headsets that are meant for industrial use? Well, this has a human vision resolution, as in you cannot see any kind of pixels anymore. It just is supposed to look like the real world. Wow. And they do achieve this by embedding a smaller high resolution display into another display, which has a kind of standard resolution. So when you look into the center of the vision, it should be just as looking into the real world. Now in this video, I'm going to check this out for you and I'm going to let you know what I think about it. And all of this is coming up. Welcome back again here to MRTV Business. My name is Sebastian Ang, and on this channel, I'm showing you how VR and AR can help grow your business. So here it is, the Vario VR2 Pro. Now, this headset does not only come with a human eye resolution display, it also comes with eye tracking and in this Pro version with full hand tracking. So everything is taken care of and I believe that's why Vario says this is the most professional VR headset in any sense. Before I put this on, let's take a closer look at the device. And here it is, the Vario VR2 Pro. The Pro Edition comes with hand tracking. So in terms of weight, it does feel a bit heavier than the consumer headsets that we used to, like Index and Rift, but it's still okay. So the headset itself is 605 grams, but this is without the headband, which will put another few hundred grams on top of that. All right, let's have a look at the different sides of the headset. And this is how it looks from down, from the bottom. As you can tell, there is no manual IPD adjustment slider. And the reason is this has automatical mechanical IPD adjustment. So the eye tracker is going to measure your IPD, your interpapillary distance, and then via motors, the lenses will adjust in distance. Really cool. On the top, you have two buttons, and with these buttons, you can interact with software should you not be using controllers, for example, to confirm something. Now, let's have a look here at the face casket and the lenses. So, just like with the Valve Index, actually, you can remove the facial padding just like this one, and also, it is held in place by magnets. So, I really personally do like this kind of way to attach this facial padding to headsets. It's easy to remove and easy to put back. So now we have this on the Vario headsets and on the HP Reverb G2 and of course in the Valve Index and well, it should be more headset makers who use that. I personally really like it a lot. Now the glasses test. Will glasses work within the Vario VR2? And as you can tell easily, there's so much room there. It's fantastic. And I believe that Vario took great care just to make sure that people could keep on wearing the glasses when using the Vario. Let's have a look at the headband. And here we have this knob, just as we know it from the Valve Index, for example. But this one, it's even easier to turn. So very nice engineering here, very much fun to actually use that knob. As you can tell, there's one more headband going across your head and this one you can adjust it with Velcro. Then here in the Pro version, there's even some counterweight to make it more balanced, the whole affair. And yeah, well, I will show you in a moment when I put this on how good this actually feels. And also nice, the fabric here of this headband, it can be completely replaced. Very important, of course, for professional applications where many people wear this. All right, part of all my videos is a face on where I put on these headsets for the first time. And I'm also going to do this here with the Vario VR2 Pro. Now, in terms of weight, this is heavier than other headsets. However, it does come with this nice head strap and I just showed it to you. This, this looks really comfortable and simply let me put this on. And well, this is not the first time that I wear this. I have already tried this at Augmented World Expo in Munich last year. And right, okay. So 
just as I remember, this is a comfortable fit. And even though it is a bit heavier than other headsets, you won't really feel it because it is very well balanced. This part balances the front part out. So it's more like wearing a hat, like wearing a hard hat. So I believe that this won't be a problem. The weight won't be a problem because of this balancing. And thanks to this head strap, which, which nicely wraps around my head, it does feel comfortable. So this is good news. And well, again, this is not the first time that I'm wearing this. And I can tell you that this is comfortable, even though it is a bit heavier than other competing headsets. Well, but, well, you do want that human eye resolution, right? So that's why you need to, yeah, also have some disadvantages in terms of weight. However, again, this is a comfortable headset. So now, of course, you want to know how good is the display. And for this, I'm going to show you some through the lens videos now. Okay, this is the Vario VR2 through the lens. And yeah, it looks, amazing really astonishing how good that looks especially of course when you look at this sharpest point at the center of your vision that high resolution display which will give you 60 pixels per degree and that's better than any headset on the market and it simply looks photorealistic even better than the hp reverb g2 However, you only have that super, super high PPD in that area in the center of your vision. There is a 1920 times 1080p micro OLED display and around that you have another 1600 times 1440p OLED display. And that's of course per eye. So everything times two and this makes for this incredibly high resolution. For the first Vario headset, which uses the same kind of embedded style, you could quite easily see that border between that high resolution display in the center of your vision and the rest. But for this one, you cannot see it. But there is some little thing that you can see, and that's something I would call a bubble. Look at this on the top. This, you see that on the very right and on the very left of the display. And I asked what that is, and that is actually part of the optical combiner that will mesh the two displays together seamlessly. So, well, there is something that you do see on the very right and left. So this headset does not really have a huge FOV, 87 degrees. And also with these bubbles on the very right and very left, I would not say this is the headset that will give you the best immersion. Other headsets have a wider field of view and they're better for this. This headset is all about resolution. Again, if you have an application where you absolutely must make sure that you cannot see any pixels anymore, then this will be it. Now, how much you have to pay for this? Well, for the Vario VR2, not the Pro version, it's going to be 5,000 euro. And for the version with hand tracking, it's going to be 6,000 euros. On top of that, you get a yearly support fee of 800 euro for the normal version and 1,000 euro for the Pro version. And that will give you world-class support by a team dedicated to just customer support. All right, I hope that now you have a better idea of just how good the picture quality of the Vario VR2 is, especially, of course, in that high resolution display, which is in the center of your vision. And I can just say it again, it does look like reality. You, you can't see any kind of pixel with other headsets, even though they have a high resolution. If you really look very closely, you can still see some, some pixels. But with this one, when looking at this high resolution display, you cannot see any kind of pixel anymore. And it does look like the real world. And this is pretty amazing. So, in terms of overall immersion, I believe there are better headsets. Those headsets with a wider field of view, where you have a good res resolution over the whole picture, and um, definitely these are other use cases. I believe this is a fantastic headset for all these applications where it's mission critical that you can see each and every detail. If you need this, for example, for CAD applications or for trainings or probably for some medical applications, probably some kind of operations that you want to use this on, well, then I believe this will be the right choice. 
However, if your application is more about immersion and putting your customers into another world, then I believe other headsets with a wider field of view will be better. So it really depends on the application that you need the headset for. And I'm so happy that there, that there is now a broad choice of VR headsets also for professional use cases. So again, I believe this is the best VR headset for you if you need the absolute best resolution on the market. This is the Vario VR2. All right, that's it for this video. If you need any more information about Vario, then check out their website. The link is down in the description of this video. And if you need even more information, simply get in touch with the team at Vario. They are really nice and they are going to answer your questions for sure. And probably they're even going to send you a loaner unit. So all of the information down in the description of this video. That's it. I really hope that this was informative for you. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV Business, then do so now. And I'm looking forward to see you in the next episode.